Oh, I thought it was a fabulous game, except for the, the interruptions weren't great. But um, yeah, I thought both teams played some really good footy in, in both halves. I thought our scramble defence, particularly in that first half, saved three or four tries, which really won us the game, I guess, that, that first 40. Because we knew if they got a flow of possession, well, they could score tries, can't they? So and that, that showed in the last sort of five, five minutes of the game. So we're grateful for the win. Could have went either way. Seeing a young guy like Tristan Sadler as well make that, put his hand under the ball to save that try, yeah. that was pretty spectacular. Yeah, well, he's actually a, quite a clever footballer. Um, he, he's a real student of the game and he, he brought a lot of his knowledge there tonight. Just little things like that. that we, we see him doing all the time at training and then where he's been playing in the Queensland Cup. So that was a really good performance. I'm really happy for Tristan because he's fought back from some really tough times and uh, I thought his character tonight really stood out um, in the NRL, which, you know, he's been waiting a long time to get back on in this arena and he didn't let anyone down tonight. But when you make up all the pitch invasions, or was it quite frustrating for you guys out there? To... Yeah, we sort of lost a bit of the flow of the game. Um, I think both sides felt a bit of the frustration, but um, just got to get on with it. Obviously, uh, I think they responded a little bit better towards the back end of that. We were probably still stuck in the moment. Um, yeah, both teams went through it though, so we just need to be better if it happens again. There was some talk pre-match about the fact that you have five players away on origin duty, but I guess it brings opportunities for others, doesn't it? Well, it does. That's the way you, the only way you can look at it, really. And uh, we had four guys that hadn't played for us at all this year, you know, coming in tonight. So that was good for them, young players too. And it's a great experience coming here to New Zealand, not so much into Auckland, but but here uh, at Napier. And for these guys to get that opportunity, they they all played really well. Dean Mariner picked up a couple of tries. Um, which I thought he was really good at. And uh, Xavier Willison as well was good through the middle. He only had a little short stint, but a good taste for him of what's in front. Um, and the other one, Brendan Piakura, has been waiting patiently as well. He's been playing some good footy back in the um, Interest Super Cup or, and gets his chance tonight. And I thought he did really well as well. And putting, putting aside the, the pitch invasions, I mean, how have you enjoyed your time here in Hooks Bay? Well, I would want to run out into that one, but from a playing point of view, but from a from a Broncos coming here, it's been really great. We um, we went out into the community on on Thursday out to Erkstar Erkstals Estale, Estale. Estale. Yeah. Um, State School. The kids there were they did a harker for the boys, and um, it was really welcoming from them. And then the last few days here uh, in Napier has been great. It's a beautiful little city. Um, we're grateful that you guys have taken us in for the last three days and we're even more grateful to take home um, the wind, which is uh, what we came here for at the end of the day. Uh, it wasn't, uh, I just wonder what you thought on the, the try that was disallowed at the end. It probably didn't seem to get a lot of, lot of the shirt, but it's sort of the rules are the rules. And yeah, my that. eyesight was going at the back end of the game, so <laughs> I couldn't really see. That was a lucky one for us. I mean, I, to be honest, I didn't really see too much in it, but... Adam might be able to answer it a little bit better. Yeah, I think rules are the rules. Um, probably could have went either way. Same as the one we got disallowed down the other end there. Um, show and go, which we got a, a lead on the outside, which is technically the rules you can do that. But um, yeah, obviously in the moment, um, just got to play to the whistle and hopefully you get it. And, we were lucky enough tonight too. Yeah, I think you, you need some luck to win these sort of games, and we got we got some luck tonight. So we played well, but we also had had some good luck. I just last thing for me, I mean, you know, um, given everything the Warriors went through for a few years, is it nice to and the, the lack of league that's been in New Zealand over that period? Is it nice to come to a place like this and, and take a, an arrow game to somewhere like this? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Um, if anything, I think there should be another team in New Zealand. They've definitely got the support over here. We've seen tonight in Napier that we sold out a, a stadium here that's, what, 20,000 or so. Um, throughout the, the week, the community's been fantastic. And mm -hmm. It's good to see the Warriors back home and enjoying themselves. I, I spoke to a number of the players out there um, and asked them how it was being back home, and every one of them loved it. Obviously, they get to be out in the community, they get to be with their families, um, and you see the impact it has. They're, they're playing some good football this year, and um, it's always good to see the Warriors uh, when they're playing good footy. Okay. Oh, just one final question. Are the players genuinely excited about the, 
the closeness of the competition and how tight it is? Does that give them an extra spring in the step and well, for that other, we probably weren't with, with 30 seconds to go, but after yeah. 30 seconds, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, it is a tight competition and um, there's not a lot between the top sort of 10 or 12 teams. So that will continue through this next, you know, six or eight weeks, I believe, um, and then into the finals. So we're into the chase to the finals. So, yeah, it's a great competition, a lot of good teams and you can't, you know, you just got to be up there every week, otherwise you'll, you'll get beaten. Thank you. Thank you.